Hello everybody, welcome back to the KFTLC Families, I'm Austin, and today we are doing another Hunger Games video. So, if you don't know the rules, basically there are 12 districts, each with 2 people in it, and I have put KFTLC characters in all of these spots, and we are going to see who is the last to survive. People are going to be hunting for others, hiding, fighting, trying to survive, so we're going to have an action-packed video for today. So we're going to have an action-packed video for today. But before we get into it, make sure to drop a like down below if you guys like these Hunger Games simulators. And also, comment down below, who out of all these KOTLC characters do you think is going to win? Who are you rooting for? I'd love to know who you guys think is going to win. Make sure to subscribe down to down below. We're so close to 9,000 subscribers. But yeah, let's go get straight into In District 1, we have Sophie Foster, Keith Sensen. District 2, we have Tam Song and Lin Song. District 3, we have Dex, Disney, and Morella. District 4, we have Fitz and Bianna. District 5, we have Sophie's parents, Grady and Edeline. District 6, we have Alden and Delavacker. District 7, we have Ellen and Livy. District 8, we have Sandor and Alvar. District 9, we have Stina and Wiley. District 10, we have Jensi and Maraca. District 11, we have Lady Gisela and Mr. Forkel. And District 12, we have Counselor Bronte and Miss Barrett. All right, with all the characters and everything laid out, then we can get straight into it, but remember, Comment down below who do you guys think is going to win the Hunger Games, but yeah, let's hop straight into day one. Alright, so Hunger Games the Bloodbath. As tri the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Fitz runs away from the cornucopia. Livy retrieves a trident from inside the cornucopia. Sandor runs away from the cornucopia. Bianna runs away from the cornucopia. Keith runs away from the cornucopia. Jensi runs away from the cornucopia. Alright, so basically everyone's running away. Tam, Mr. Forco, Della, and Grady share everything they gathered before running. Maraca gathers as much food as she can. Bronte, Alden, and Vespera work together to get as many supplies as possible. Dex kills Stina as she tries to run. Oh my goodness. Who would have thought that Dex gets the first kill? But already one KOTLC member down which is pretty crazy already. Sophie runs away from the cornucopia. Edeline runs away from the cornucopia. Lady Gisela takes a handful of throwing knives. Morello runs away from the cornucopia. Elwyn runs away from the cornucopia. Wiley grabs a backpack and retreats. Lynn snatches a pair of sighs. Alvar runs away from the cornucopia. So that is actually kind of crazy. Only one person died from the cornucopia. Usually everyone at the start goes for each other and there's at least two or three kills. But that's kind of crazy that there's only one kill so far. But I'm sure there's gonna be more killing in the day one. So, Maraca hunts for other tributes. Lady Gisela tends to Fitz's wounds. That would be very highly unlikely in the actual book. Grady tends to Keith's wounds. Okay, well, that's actually also probably never gonna happen in the Captain C book. Mr. Forkle injures himself. Sophie bashes Della head in with a mace. Oh, they say that Sophie's a powerful elf, and that just shows her right there. Number two kill comes from Sophie, which means there's 22 people alive now. Edeline and Alden work together for the day. Tam receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Jensi questions insanity. Morella searches for a water source. Bronte receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Livy, Sandor, Lynn, and Vespera form a suicide pact, killing themselves. Oh my goodness, four people gone just like that. Sucks to see Sandor, and Lynn, Livy, and Vespera go just that quickly. So now we are down to 18 people. Wiley goes hunting, Bianna steals from Dex while he isn't looking, Alvar thinks about home, and Elwarn injures himself. But let's proceed. There are six fallen tributes with six cannon shots heard in distance. Sina, Della, Livy, Sandor, Lynn, and Vespera are all dead. So there's 18 people alive. Let's see everyone's status. So we have Sophie and Dex have a kill, and that's it. The other people have committed suicide. So I think we can jump straight into the night. So, Edeline screams for help, Grady cooks his food before putting his fire out, Dex tries to treat his infection, and Wiley receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Jensi is awoken by nightmares, Bronte sets up camp for the night, Alvar lets Morella into his shelter, Tam fends Fitz, Mr. Forkel, and Sophie away from his fire, wow. Tam is getting aggressive. Lady Gisela sees a fire but stays hidden. Maraca dies from hypothermia. Literally, I've only had two kills and seven people are dead, which is kind of crazy. Everyone is just dying from their own injuries or suicide. Keith stays awake all night and Bianna is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Well, that's not great. All right, so day two, we're gonna have some probably some more deaths this day. Bronte questions his sanity. Tam dies from, th oh my goodness, another kill from just being injured. We've only had two kills this entire game, which has probably never happened in one of these episodes. Keith tends to Owen's wounds. Sophie searches for firewood. Alvar, Alden, Wiley, Dex, and Jensi hunt for other tributes. Wow, that is a very fierce little group. I would not want to run into them. 
Marlo searches for firewood, Adeline makes a wooden spear, Grady collects fruit from a tree, Mr. Forkle fishes, Fitz receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, Lady Gisela questions her sanity, and Fiona searches for a water source. Wow, there's only one death in this whole day. That's insane. This is insane. So yeah, there's two deaths so far, Maraca and Tam are both dead and obviously no one killed them. So still, there's only two kills so far in this video, Sophie and Deck, which is pretty cool. So I guess let's get to night two and see if maybe anybody gets a kill or anything. So to start it off, Grady screams for help. Adeline convinces Wiley to snuggle with her. Okay, well, I guess that's why Grady is screaming. Bianca cries herself to sleep. Mr. Forkle treats his infection. Sophie and Jency huddle for warmth. Ooh. I didn't see that coming. Elwyn and Fitz run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Alvar attempts to climb a tree but falls to his death. Oh my goodness. Another person dying just from themselves. Dex pushes Morella off a cliff during a knife fight. Okay, so now Dex has two kills. He killed Morella and any trace of a Dex and Morella ship just off the bat. Alden and La Lady Giselle sleep in shifts. Keith kills Bronte with his own weapon. Okay, so now there's been two kills tonight. Keith and Dex, wow. Didn't expect Keith to kill somebody. So now starting off day three, Grady and Lady Giselle fight Dex and Alden. Dex and Alden survive, which probably means that Grady and Lady Giselle are dead. So now Dex probably has another kill, which is insane. And Keith now bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Wow. So now we are rapidly losing numbers, and we are probably under the halfway mark right now. Wiley Camish lodges himself in the bushes. Fitz, Jancy, and Bianca get into a fight. Fitz triumphantly kills them both. Wow. He kills his sister and Jency. This is already getting off to a great start, and the numbers are dwindling, and there are more kills happening. Elwyn camouflages himself in the bushes, just as Wiley did. Mr. Forkle sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Adeline practices her archery, and Sophie falls into a pit and dies. Another suicide death. Okay, well that's a lot of death in one day. And oh no, an arena event. A monstrous hurricane wreaks havoc on their arena. Adeline survives. Wiley is incapacitated by flying debris and dies. Alan survives. Dex survives. Elwyn is sucked into the hurricane. Oh no, two deaths so far from this. Mr. Forkle survives, and then Fitz is sucked into the hurricane. Okay, so that's three deaths from that single event. So now, oh my goodness, I've never seen this before. Twelve cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Alvar, Morella, Bronte, Grady, Lady Gisela, Keith. Jency, Fiona, Sophie, Wiley, Elwyn, and Fitz are all dead after that day. So that's very eventful. And what do you know? There are four people left. Dex, Edeline, Alden, and Mr. Forkle. I remember that uh, Edeline and Alden made a truce at the start, and Dex has just been going off with four kills, so we're gonna have to see what happens. So night three, Alden receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Edeline climbs a tree to rest. Mr. Forkle looks at the night sky, and Dex cries himself to sleep. Why is that such a Dex thing to do? All right, but now we have the feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's family. Alden decides not to go to the feast. Dex stuffs a bundle of dry clothing into a backpack before sprinting away. Adeline decides not to go to the feast, and Mr. Forkle decides not to go to the feast. So Dex is the only one who goes, and he's able to get some more clothing, and honestly, that's the smart decision with only four people left. So he's at a really good advantage here. So day four. Edeline dies from an infection. Okay, so now we are down to three people. Dex diverts Mr. Forkle's attention and runs away. Okay, that's very smart. He wants to make it to the top two situation. Alden travels to higher ground. Okay, so all of this is very smart, except for Edeline dying from the infection. Dex receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Mr. Forkle defeats Alden in a fight, but spares his life. Oh my goodness. Again, another day of no death. He could have just killed Alden. Okay, no cannon shots. Mr. Forkle kills Dex with his own weapon and Alden dies from hypothermia. I did not expect that. I was It was going so slow. And then Mr. Forkle kills Dex and then Alden dies, which means Mr. Forkle, the guy I said was an underdog, just won the Hunger Games. That is insane. So yes, the winner is Mr. Forkle from District 11. And he only had one kill, but he still managed to win because that last kill was the thing that gave him the win. So we can see the placement there. Mr. Forkle, Alden, and Dex as top three. They definitely deserved it as the three of them totaled seven kills so did you guys think that mr Virgil was gonna win let me know down below in the comments because i definitely didn't think that he was gonna win i thought dex was gonna win and obviously you guys can see here the placements and obviously we can see over here the highest kills was dex fitz and alden okay see the vackers kind of killing it over there 
But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this Hunger Games. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like down below on this video. Comment down below. Do you guys want to see more of this Hunger Games simulator? And also, guys, check out the description because we have the link to the same Hunger Games with all the KLTSC characters added in so you guys don't have to make your own. So you guys can just quickly click on the link and simulate your own KLTSC Hunger Games. Also, make sure to subscribe down below. We are so close to 9,000 subscribers, so we need all you guys' help to get to that goal. But with that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.